Right, outside Vicarage Road has finished Watford 2, Tottenham 1. Got We Are Tottenham TV with us. Um, thanks for coming on first. Good sportsmanship, um, lads. I mean, I was saying to you on your fan cam, I didn't think you guys played particularly badly, but it was just a five minute, ten minute spell where we just seemed to smell blood and go for it. It was a lot of pretty football from Spurs, but you kept possession pretty well, I thought, especially for the first hour. I felt like. Um, especially in the second half, near the beginning, you could see Dembele's powers were kind of waning. I thought he got caught on the ball a couple of times. I thought he was losing possession. I thought maybe that we lost a bit of power in that central midfield. You kind of took control there. Um, we didn't create too many chances, to be fair to Watford. They gave, they attacked us and they didn't, and they weren't too open at the back. So you got to give them credit for that. Um, but I think it was a case of how Dini says it. I think we liked a bit of cojones at the end of the day. <laughs> I think that's um, how it was. Two goals from set pieces, obviously. It's, it's, it's soft goals. You don't want to be seen them at set pieces. Um, yeah, what do, you, what do you put it down to, really? I mean, it's, it was a great defending. Ultimately, if you don't create those chances while you're on top, you're not going to score the goals, and that's exactly what happened to us today. Like, if we were on top for maybe like 60 minutes of the game, and that those last half an hour, you scored two goals, and that's what won you the game. Like, if we would have created those chances in the first 60 minutes, it could have been a completely different game, but it wasn't to be. Are the players responsible today, or is it, is it Pochettino? What do you put the result down to? <laughs> Uh, poor goal, not having our first team goalkeeper playing. I think not having Loris there, he would have got those two. He, Vaughan could have saved both of those? Yeah, I think so. I think so. They were straightforward. I mean, they were good, but they were straightforward. And Lor Loris would have been on top of them quite quickly. But you guys played well. You know, you came back with passion and real. real um, and at one point we said to each other, we, we've just lost it. Because uh, you were fighting so you're fighting so hard, so all credit to you guys. Completely. The way Watford came back, you have to give it to them. They were yeah. superb in that last half an hour. You know, yeah. Full any, credit. To any players that stood out for you from Watford today? Um, I think obviously Dini likes to rough up the defenders. I thought he had a good game. In terms of dual defence, I thought Cabaselli had a pretty decent game at the back. I like the look of him. Um, Decore. Yeah, Decore. Decore. <laughs> Link threat. Decore. Brilliant yeah, goal. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and also the ambitions for, what, uh, for Watford, for Tottenham this season, is it about pushing for the league or is it cementing top four again? Still trying to stay in the championship, yep. yeah, I think, I think it's a good chance even though we haven't signed anybody. I think people like uh, Lucas is coming, coming good really good and we didn't take him on until late last year. I think we've got, still got every chance and I'm sure we'll get a couple of people in the uh, new, new signer in January. But we've got a good team, we've got some good backup. I mean, when Winks came on, he looks uh, superb. No, he he looks superb really when he well. came on, and, and Lucas is playing well. Dembele normal is playing well. He no, I thought Dembele so was class today, but I think he tired out early second half, and that's when we actually lost the game. Change it quick enough, I thought. Yeah. In terms of Spurs' ambitions this season, obviously uh, we want to cement top four again. I think that's where we got to look at. We, I felt, as a lot of Spurs fans did this season, I felt like a couple of additions in the summer would really have pushed us on into maybe a title challenge. I just feel like this squad, I don't know if it's fit for a title challenge. I think we'll get a top three finish is probably where we're at at the moment. But who knows? We've got good players like Lamella, Wanyama, Winks came, come, came back today. Son's coming back from international break. So there's a lot of good players there coming back into the squad. Depth. So a lot of depth. So that's not too underestimated, but I think top three. Brilliant, guys. Thanks for coming on. Make sure you subscribe to We Are Tottenham TV. I'm seeing the next one.